Hi and welcome back. So in this video we're going to continue with the processing lessons. But there is something that I don't really like about the processing IDE. Processing IDE looks something like this. Now, I don't really like it because um, it, it's not very pretty and also the number of changes you can make to the UI to, to make it more fit to you and your programming style is not a lot. So instead of using this, we're going to transition and start using Atom. And Atom is a new sort of text editor that is very hackable. You can change a lot of things in Atom to make it more suitable to yourself. Things like fonts and line spacing and character spacing and colors of the background and the text and, and syntax highlighting and everything can be easily changed and also it's very extensible which means as well as using it for processing programming we can use it for other types of programming as well. So download Atom from atom.io and then install it and then you can open it and it'll look something like this. In some cases the left side menu may be hidden, but you can open it in the view menu. In order to enable processing support in Atom, we're going to need to go to our preferences. So press command and comma to open the preferences. Then go to install. And here, simply type processing. Then we can install processing which allows us to run processing sketches from Atom and also install processing-language which adds appropriate syntax highlighting to Atom for processing files. If you want, you can also install processing autocomplete which will allow for some autocompletion in processing. Notice this autocomplete is substantially better than the processing IDE's autocomplete. Once you've installed at least these two, we can go into processing and install something. So what we're going to install is here in tools and then press on install processing-java. That will ask you for your password and once you've installed it, you'll be able to run sketches from within Atom. However, before you can do that, you'll need to go back into your packages find the processing package you've installed, which is this one, go to settings, and then type the processing executable path there. You can find the processing executable path by going into your terminal and typing which processing-java. And then that will tell you where that is. Simply copy that and paste it in here. Now all of that is set up and we can go into our file and press control Alt and B for build and that will make this appear which is our sketch and now we can use this alongside with this tree here to build more complex processing programs and also it's a lot prettier and a dark theme is always appreciated when working with code at least in my view however you may wish to continue these videos using the processing environment and that's absolutely fine as well Okay, I'll see you in the next video.